right, I think I got time for one more quick little rant, especially since it's a nice, easy one. Grass types. Grass, unfortunately, is underpowered right now. It has no legendary representatives, and they just tend to not have very good stats, especially attack stats right now. So there's only a handful of actually good ones, and they have a tendency to be uh, mixed with other types, which can or can't help help them depending uh, main thing that grass types are used for is beating down water types because they're pretty much the best at that since electric types aren't also resistant to water they also work very well against ground types and rock types and there's a lot of rock water there's a lot of ground water there's a lot of uh, water rock types that are double weak towards grass and grass is obviously very good at taking the, those sorts of niche problems out but grass has a lot of weaknesses too there's a lot of things that are super effective against it uh, bug and flying which are kind of marginally used nowadays but they're also weak against fire and they're weak against uh, ice and poison and fire and po uh, ice used offensively quite a lot so you have to be really careful with your grass types. Uh, they are resistant, obviously, to water. They're resistant to themselves, grass. They're resistant to ground, which is another advantage they have over water in that regard, because water is not resistant to ground types. And grass types have a very strong tendency to be mixed with things like poison and uh, psychic, in at least one case. And that's kind of a kind of a good, kind of a bad thing. Like poison and grass cover each other's strength and weaknesses very well for the most part. And but the main problem is, and this is especially true like for people who've played largely Gen 1 and 2 like I have, Psychic is super overpowered. At least in the original early games. Because it was really great against poison. There was a bunch of poison types that didn't have any defense against psychic whatsoever the best early pokemon were all psychic so i mean it's just one of those things poison was seen as a, a straight detriment virtually in all cases that's not so much a problem anymore but still it's something to take into consideration there's also a lot of psychic uh legendary and mythics so having a bunch of weaknesses to Psychic just on your secondary type is kind of a bad thing. There's also a lot of Ice type and a lot of Fire type in those raids. So something to bear in mind. I, I recommend people get Grass types. They're, they are good against a fairly decent number of things. But... Until 4th gen comes, there's not going to be a lot of good exemplars of the type. Now, as for good grass types, uh, primarily executor, good bulk, good attack power. Uh, he doesn't really get a really good, like, fast type grass attack, but he gets solar beam. And solar beam, despite being a one bar attack, is, and fairly slow and kind of easy to dodge. When you're shooting somebody with it, they feel it. So, bear that in mind. Uh, Sceptile, the third gen starter, is a good grass glass cannon. Uh, he's got fairly decent fast, uh, fast. Uh, sorry, he's got fairly decent and fast attacks, but he can't really take a hit. So you got to be careful when you're trading with people. He is a pure grass type, though, unlike a lot of these others. Uh, Executor, for example, is psychic. Which, eh, makes him double weak towards Bug, but that's not a huge problem, right? Uh, Venusaur. Now, if Venusaur has Solar Beam, he's pretty good. If he has that Frenzy Plant that you could get from Community Day, he's even better. He's probably, probably the second best Grass type overall after Executor. But even he only maxes out at, uh, I think, like 2,500 or so. So he's, you know, 
only so much power behind the grass types right now, which is their big problem. When fourth gen drops and we get like leafy on and tang growth, that'll change. But for the time being, you still want your grass types because they are really good at taking out water types. But they're not really the core of your team right now. Uh, Meganium, the second gen starter, uh, he's too defensive to have a very high CP. Uh, Vile Plume and Victory Bell uh, both make fairly decent Venusaur replacements. Uh, Bell Awesome, the alternate uh, version of Vile Plume, uh, more of a show-off thing. It just it doesn't quite have the same amount of attack power. I was about to say that's pretty much all the grass types that are even half worth of a damn right now that I'm aware of. Checking my list real quick just to tell you. Yeah, Bulbasaur maxes, uh, I was about to say, Venusaur maxes out at 2568. Uh, oh, there is Lotad. I mentioned him during the water types. Then you've got like Shiftry, which is uh, probably better as a dark type, and even then. Uh, Sunflora, meh. Breloom is a grass fighting type. He actually has the highest attack power of all the fighting types right now. He's not nearly as durable as uh, Hariyama or even Machamp. And he's got a lot of a lot of weaknesses, including a double weakness towards flying. But in terms of fighting type glass cannons, there you go. But again, he's a fighting type. Uh, Cradilly doesn't have enough real grass attacks to back himself up. Cacturn, another grass dark type that would probably be better off used as a dark type anyway. Parasect. Three double weaknesses. Three. I mean, and not, not enough stats to back it up. I think that pretty much says it all. Skiploom. Uh, he's really, really resistant to ground, but beyond that, he just doesn't have the stats to back it up. Tropius is probably a little better, but he's a regional. So I've, I've never even seen one. Uh, Roselia, keep him around for fourth gen. Tangrowth, eh, same thing. And that pretty much does it for all the grass types that are even anything at this point, so. All right, to recap, grass, lots of weaknesses, good against ground, water, and to a certain extent rock types. But there's a lot of overlap there with water and water just has better Pokemon in it. So just keep the faith, keep a couple handful of grass types in your back pocket. Stuff like Venusaur or Executor will be really good against like Reggie Rock, for example. But grass type, it's just it's one of those types that just wasn't given the stats and wasn't given the resistances and strengths that it really needed to be a top tier type the same way that like water is all right signing off i forgot to mention i'm just going to make a little addendum to the grass type video uh another problem that grass has is kind of the same problem that fighting has in that too many things are resistant to it and fighting at least has the benefit of being super effective against five things, even though it's weak against, it's resisted by five things. Grass is strong against three things, but it is weak against five things. Bug, flying, poison, fire, steel. And if there was a sixth one in there I'm forgetting, I wouldn't be surprised. It's just that easily resisted. So grass is one of those things that you really need to use it just for attacking specifically those few things that it's good against both offensively and defensively. And that's going to be pretty much water types that don't have ice type moves and ground types in general. Alright, signing this one off again.